The war in Gaza has claimed more than 800 lives to date, according to the Palestinian count. And one of those deaths hits close to home here at CBS News. Richard Roth in southern Israel has that story. There was a face we knew among the anguished relatives a week ago rushing the injured to a Gaza hospital. The man in tears is Marwan Al Ghul. A Palestinian cameraman and reporter in Gaza, he's seen plenty of suffering in the years he's worked for CBS News. These tears, though, were personal for the brother whose body he'd just brought in. Akram Al Ghul was 48 and a father of five. A lawyer and judge in Gaza, he left his job when the Palestinian Authority lost power 18 months ago. He didn't want to work for Hamas. And he was very sad and he left the authority and he left the city and he went to live in the farm between his garden, between his flowers, birds and between his box. And that's where he died, just north of Gaza City on the family farm shown in this home video. In late afternoon, two days after New Year's, an Israeli airstrike killed him. With the war heating up, Marwan says he just warned his brother to be careful. He said to me, listen Marwan, I am safe. The Israeli know me very well. I am a civilian man. They would never kill me. If they kill me, they would be stupid. And the Israeli army is not stupid. Marwan and I talked across the Israeli border by cell phone over the noise of war. Oh, it's bombing beside us. From, from where I am now, overlooking Beit Hanun, uh, Marwan, I can hear the sound of either artillery or bombs falling. Yeah, that's right. I can hear it too, here from the middle of Gaza. Akram Al Ghul's death is now among wartime incidents the organization Human Rights Watch is asking Israel to investigate. I don't know. I don't know really. I want, I want the people to remember him. His name's been added to a list of sorrow. Richard Roth, CBS News in Southern Israel.